The objective here, and in data sufficiency in general, is to test the question with a set of values that satisfies each of the two statements. Let's look at statement number one. Suppose we choose the consecutive set A, B, C equals 1, 2, 3. It's certainly true that 2 minus 1 equals 3 minus 2 equals 1. Now let's test another set of integers, say A, B, C equals 2, 4, 6. It's also true that 4 minus 2 equals 6 minus 4 equals 2. However, the set 2, 4, 6 is not a consecutive set of integers. So statement 1 fails, and we can eliminate answer choice A. Now let's look at statement 2. Suppose we use the same sets as we did in statement 1. It's true that for the consecutive set of integers 1, 2, 3, the average is the middle number, 2. However, the mean for the integers 2, 4, 6 is 4. Again, the mean of this set is the middle number. So both 2, 4, 6 and 1, 2, 3 satisfy the condition that the mean of the set is the middle number. Yet one set is consecutive and the other isn't. So statement 2 fails and we can eliminate answer choice B. Finally, together the statements tell us nothing. For example, the set 2, 4, 6 satisfies both statements 1 and 2, but isn't a consecutive set. And the set 1, 2, 3 satisfies statements 1 and 2, which is a consecutive set. We can therefore eliminate answer choice C and D. Since we can find two three integer sets that both satisfy and fail to qualify the question. So the answer to today's challenge question is E. Neither statement is sufficient independently or in conjunction to the other in order to answer the question.